I've got yet another fantastic studio microphone option for you coming up right after this. Hey there folks, welcome back to the Photo Video Show where we explore all things photography and on yet another episode we're doing some more audio. I love audio because obviously half of every video is audio. But I recently picked up this Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR uh, microphone to do most of my studio work. So if you've been watching my videos over the last month or so, you've noticed that I've been using this microphone as opposed to my Blue Yeti Blackout Edition and that's mainly because I just find that the XLR connection is a lot more versatile for my needs, but I wanted to go ahead and do a review on this particular microphone, give you all some sound samples, you're listening to it right now, but I also wanted to give you all the specifics as well. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump in. So as I mentioned before, this is the AT2020 Cardioid Condenser Microphone. It's made by Audio-Technica headquartered out of Tokyo, Japan, and they have a long-standing reputation for creating some of the best, beautiful, most awesome sounding microphones in the business. So right out of the gate, let me just be the first one to say that this is not going to be for your average consumer. Because of its more technical nature, you're going to require at least some rudimentary understanding of how audio works in order to get the most out of this particular microphone. But as long as you've got something that provides phantom power to get this bad boy turned on, you ought to be good to go. What comes in the package? Well, you're going to get your Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR microphone. You're also going to get a microphone stand adapter, and you're also going to get the Audio-Technica leatherette pouch, which is very well padded, perfect for carrying your microphone from place to place. Also, inside of the microphone stand adapter, you're also going to get a step-down adapter that fits inside so that you can use it on both uh, 5 8 of an inch stands, and you're also going to be able to fit that onto the 3 8 inch threaded stands as well. So now that you know what you're physically getting, let's get into some of the actual specs of the microphone, and you can kind of see what you're going to get as far as quality. First up, let's talk about your frequency response. You're going to get 20 hertz all the way up to 20 kilohertz. I want you to also notice the pattern on the pickup. You can totally see how flat this particular microphone renders sound. So you're going to get a very flat frequency response, which is what you're always looking for. And not surprisingly, this is a cardioid polar pattern. As with most specialized vocal mics, your sound pattern is going to be coming from the front of the microphone only, and it will reject sound from all other sides of the microphone. Uh, in order to tell which side is the front of the microphone on this one, simply speak into the side of the microphone that has the Audio-Technica logo. And for those of you that are really into technical specifications, I went on ahead and put this inside the video as well so you can pause it here and check all those out for yourself. Also, as a side note, some of you might remember that I picked up the Audio-Technica AT-875R shotgun microphone, mainly because it was actually manufactured and made in Japan. So when I went to buy the Audio-Technica uh, 2020, I thought, okay, well, it's going to be Japan quality as well. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. When I looked inside of the XLR connection, it actually said China. But to be perfectly honest, the only reason I bring it up is because I know that some people really give a care uh, where their products are made. And I was kind of hoping that only the XLR portion of this microphone was maybe manufactured in China. But looking on the box, they borrowed some tactics from Apple, I guess. It's designed and engineered in Japan, but actually made in China. But the long and short of it is I think that this product is fantastically well made. From the grill to the body to the XLR connections, everything has been very well thought out, very well manufactured. I don't really think that that's in any way, shape, or form going to affect the overall performance of this microphone. I've had nothing but good luck with this thing, and it has performed flawlessly for me each and every single day, and I do a lot of voiceover work for my videos. So the price, roughly, you can pick this up for about $100 off of Amazon, and I'm going to leave links to uh, this microphone down in the description box below. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and pick this thing up. It's amazing. But before you decide to run out and grab this type of microphone, there's a couple things that you're going to need in order to make this thing work. 
If you're going to be doing computer recording, you're going to need a couple of extra things in order to make this whole thing set up correctly. This is not a USB mic. It is, in fact, an XLR microphone. So that means that it needs a special cable in order to deliver the needed power to make this microphone work. Now, you're also going to need an audio interface to make it work inside of your computer. I happen to recommend the Focusrite Scarlett Solo. It has built-in phantom power. It has a lot of other features, too. But if you have fewer dollars in the bank account, you can also pick up a really nice small one from Behringer for about $50 less. Last but not least, you're going to need your XLR cable, which helps to deliver the needed power so that you can actually turn the microphone on. So there you have it. There you go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this program and the review and if you did and you're feeling like being pretty cool to me today give me a thumbs up share the video on the internet pretty please it would mightily help a brother out and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay up to date with all the new videos that i release right here on the show so thanks again for stopping here at the photo video show i'm your host mark Puckett, and i'll see you guys again on the next one peace